God is giving out freely. The wide range of promotional is unlimited. We take pride in bringing it all together for you. And we recognize that it is hard to reach a lot of people by just having a website or even those writers that do not have the means to advertise or have a website. This website will provide its free services of advertising and giving others a platform to share their experiences, skills, and ability. For we believe that it is through others we learn not only of others but of ourselves as well. So, if you need a chat room to hold sessions, we can provide that with audio and video for classes, workshops, or just single sessions. Contact us to see what we can provide with our special features and promotional experience. And it is all free. Yes, free. Join us and meet other like-minded people because that is what makes OTC the place to be. Off the cup design. Good evening and welcome everyone to the Surprise Your Spirit show with me, your host, Kendra Wallbaum. I hope I have a lot of regulars back because tonight's show is going to be um, probably very informative and probably have a lot of laughs and maybe some hard truths. Um, I have a special guest, Andrea Ozowski, joining me tonight. She is a lifestyle extraordinaire. Um, I've known Andrea for I'm not sure how many years. Maybe she'll know when we um, get her to pop in here. And we're going to have a little bit of chat, a little bit of a chat about things you can do to infuse joy into your life. Maybe some tips and tricks and techniques that are really important tools to help you along your journey to create the life that you desire. And so without any further ado, I am pleased to welcome Andrea. Welcome, Andrea. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Oh my gosh. It's so exciting, like hearing you introduce your show. Like I couldn't be more proud. Congratulations. You are such an absolute rock star, Kendra, and such an inspiration. And I just absolutely love what you're creating. So thank you so much for having me. <laughs> thank you for joining me. So, Andrea, I want you to tell the guests, I want you to tell the guests why we know each other, how we know each other, and why you're still my friend, um, in your words, and you can be brutally honest, tell them why we met, how we met, nothing is confidential, just go have at her. You're so funny, because, like, um, just for anyone listening, really quickly, I, um, we have not like even talked about what we're going to talk about on this show. And that was one of the (laughs) questions I was going to ask you. So that's really funny. No pressure. Um, but I love it. I love it. So man, girl. Um, Oh, and side note, before I even get into that, I have to say this. I have been very fortunate to be on, um, oh man, many radio shows as guests, you know, over the last couple of years. And, there's like something really exciting and kind of vulnerable for me to be on a show with with someone who is such a good friend of mine um because it's kind of less professional in a really I think good way do you know what I mean because I think Mm -hmm. people um don't maybe realize that like everybody is just like a real person. I don't mean that's, I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but like, that's why this story is so interesting. So Kendra, you and I met because I, um, I'm a certified professional life coach and you, I don't even know how you found me. I think you like found me online or something, right? Like, no, 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 actually my massage therapist, Jenna gave me your contact information. Yes. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot. My apologies. You're yes. We're interested in some coaching and you were by far one of my favorite clients. And I think you and I just bonded over the years, like as more than client coach relationship. And, um, 
I'm going to take a bit of credit here to toot my own horn that like, I've really kind of urged you and pushed you to kind of, you know, use these incredible talents you have and get out of your box and like start showing the world what you have to offer. And um, I don't even know what else to say. Like it's been kind of where our relationship started. And then I think, you know, we've come to this really exciting time in both of our lives where like, you contribute to me so much and um and I like to think I continue to contribute to you which is kind of fun it's really fun to have friends like that (laughs) so thanks for being in my world and if you like have anything to add I'd love to hear it (laughs) okay so Andrew is being really nice guys I just want to let you know um (laughs) she she's really holding up to her confidentiality piece there even though I waved it all off um, I sought Andrea out when I, I literally was having like a midlife crisis in my mid twenties. So yeah. what I was going through, most women experience in their late fifties, early sixties. And the, it was a point where I needed to learn how to take my power back and I needed to step out into the world and be who I was. And I was completely vulnerable and I was just lost. And I did not want to tell people that I talked to dead people. I just didn't want to. And yeah. Andrew and Andrea pushed me hard, hard. Like she wasn't nice. She was not nice to me. And so... Yeah. It's true. And hey, I'm going to stop you right there. I'm going to stop you right there yeah. for one second because it's true. Like, actually, you know, my company was called No Bullshit Joy. And it was really based on this idea that, like, this is your life. Like, enough. Like, this is your life right now. This isn't a dress rehearsal. This isn't practicing. This isn't let's wait and see how it goes. It's like you have these freaking talents. And I kicked your ass a lot. Like, I know I did. And now you dish it out to me. So like, so funny, but I did, I wasn't nice. You're right. And like, there was lots of times where, you know, you phone me and you're like, Oh, but this, but this, and I'm like, Hey, like, no, not going there. We're not talking about that. Like, like, let's get this to where, you know, where you want it to be instead of staying in the crap, you know, like, um, so how I just brief story on like how I got into coaching is, Um, my dad took his own life when I was like 14 and I just got really, really invested in personal development and like creating your life and just how you could see things differently and really use your mind to like take control of your life, like for lack of a better word and really create what you desire. And, um, and my dad always said like shit happens, but you don't have to sit in it. And I love that. Like, I was like, I wish that we ran our lives on that concept. And it was kind of the point of view I took with you, Kendra. I was like, listen, you're sitting in shit. I get that. But like, let's go. (laughs) And that's a very true story, guys. So I know when I when I hand out my soul's awareness coaching sessions, it's really um, a lot a lot of the same things as Andrea comes through, but it's a lot of asking you the questions to work through your stuff on your own. Sure, I'm intuitive and I can see what's going on and I and I can tell you what's there, but me giving you the answers isn't going to help you down the road. You need to figure those things out for yourself because you need to dig out who you truly be. Who is it's that? So true. It's and so it's true. not for me to tell you. Even if I know who you're supposed to be, you need to work that out in order to truly step into who you fully are and what you can fully create and have the life that you desire. Because if you're just going off what I say, you can never, ever change your vibration to tap into that high vibration that you need in order to manifest what it is you're looking for. That's so true. And like, I, I hate that. I like, I have to be honest. I hate that because So many times, like, we're going through this stuff in our lives and we just want someone to give us the answer. You know, it's like, just tell me what to do and I'll do it. But the reality is, like, nobody can tell you what to do. Nobody can tell you what's right for you. It's truly, like you said, Kendra, it's about asking those questions and it's about really allowing yourself to discover what it is that you know, what it is that you need, you know what I mean? And, and, um, you know, a a great mentor and teacher of mine, Gary Douglas, he talks about how, if I tell you, you can dismiss it, 
But if you figure it out for yourself, you have it forever. And like, ah, that has changed my life so many times. And, you know, I can even remember a conversation that you and I had, like, what was it, Kendra, like a week or 10 days ago? Yeah. And I was so stuck. Like I was just, I hit this wall where I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do or where I wanted to go or what direction I wanted to take. And maybe some of the listeners have felt like that in their lives where they're just like, somebody tell me what to do next. And like, nobody can tell you. And, and I'm so grateful because you of course didn't tell me, you asked me a ton of questions and you're like, what do you want? Like, what do you desire? What's true for you? What's, what's fun for you? What lights you up? Right. And, and it's through those questions that we actually allow ourselves to discover who we are. Because, I mean, as we've learned through this awesome, awesome journey that, you know, isn't even close to done, which is so crazy. It's like, it's like, you have to ask those questions to figure out who you are, to figure out what's fun for you. Because when you're truly being you, when you're truly in that flow, like in that just ease like you talk in that frequency like you just become unstoppable you know and I think the world tries to tell us who we are and I think the world tries to tell us like who we should be and like what we should do and at the, the world day, it doesn't matter <laughs> yeah and the world totally leads us astray it yeah. leads us it leads us to forget who we are yeah and it tries to mold us into beings and where we're all the same and being the same is boring it really is boring I I don't want to sit in a room full of people who are all the same I want to see you for who you truly are the good the bad the ugly I'm not perfect like I I have faults people always say to me you make it sound so easy yes but um you know and and like people to me um they say, well, you know things, so your life must be so easy. Yes, but you got people don't understand that I see things as they truly are supposed to be. But then in my physical reality, things aren't the way they truly are supposed to be because people are too caught up in trying to be something else and prove something else to the world instead of just being who they are. So I get major conflict on a daily basis. Totally. My internal and external world do not match up and I have to choose what am I going to follow today, go along my path and know what is true and wait for it to unfold or involve myself in the drama and trauma of the daily world and be miserable. Yes, so, like 100%. So you touched on something that was one of my most passionate, exciting things I love talking about and that is about what's true, okay? So... I'd love to hear some of your favorite tools, you know, Kendra, but for me, it's like, I know that what's true will always make me feel lighter. And I know that what's a lie and what's not true is always going to make me feel heavier. And it's like, that lightness is something that I really can't explain to you because your lightness is going to be different than my lightness. And you may feel it in your body, you may feel it just in your world, you may feel it, you know, some other way right but if you're willing to look at like what lights you up like what's true will feel light and then what is heavy is is actually a lie it's not true for you and the tough thing is sometimes what's true for you isn't true for anyone else (laughs) you know and and what's a lie for you might not be a lie for someone else like that's such an interesting part of going through your own little journey and like figuring it out and so like you're saying, Kendra, like it's about looking at what's true for you because when when you have that energy in your world, when you have that flow, like, I mean, miracles occur. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, I actually talked about that last show is, mm-hmm. I believe, um, and it's something I've been preaching to people about light and heavy. But something I just recently became aware of with a client was their light and heavy actually came within the air they breathe. Oh, it, yeah. it, it, was, it was thick if it wasn't true for them. 
Cool. And it was easy to breathe and thin, clean air if it was if it was if it was true for them. So that's where their light and heavy came in. And so that you guys so really cool. have to be yeah, you have to be aware because your tips and tricks aren't going to work the same as everyone. Mm-hmm. I have to say that that was the first thing Andrea taught me when I was learning how to use my abilities, which came in super handy. And it was the first tool I used in order to guide me along my journey. Now. I may call Andrea's bluff on her favorite tool here. Here's the <laughs> reason why. <laughs> Whoa. I said. I, I didn't even know it. I said this is going to be brutal honesty. So we're oh, going to. We're, we're going to give the people a show. I love it. What's uh, my favorite tool? Well, I'm not saying that. We're going to <laughs> give the people a show. Oh my God. You're so funny. <laughs> you guys came for a show. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get one That's right. um well like a week or 10 days ago or however long it was I kept asking you questions because I was extremely aware um about all the crap you are carrying around and and I said to you you know like Andrea why why are you trying to trying to fix all these people's world and putting you aside you need to come first in a self-care kind of way guys there's a difference between selfish and self-care okay and Andrea and I said Andrea return that to sender and she's like that's right return it to sender and you are all over that and actually you said to me that's what we're talking about on the show (laughs) that's so true Oh my god it's so true like okay so let's look at tool number two which is not necessarily my second favorite. It's just the second in our conversation. There, are you happy? I haven't chosen a favorite. That's right. So the first tool was that that's light and heavy, right? What's true will make you feel lighter, and then what's a lie will make you feel heavier. Okay. The second tool, oh man, it's it's called who does this belong to? And these are tools from access consciousness. And if you haven't heard of access consciousness, definitely go check them out online. They're awesome. I'm so grateful for the tools that they've been able to, to gift and provide. And they've got all kinds of cool radio shows and all kinds of cool books and stuff. But, um, nevertheless, this tool, who does it belong to? So it's based on this idea that 98% of your thoughts, feelings, and emotions don't actually belong to you. Like you are an infinite energetic being and everything that comes into you, <laughs> I say everything cause it's like more like 98 million percent, but let's say 98%. So almost everything of what comes into your world is actually your awareness of what's around you. The people around you and what, about and what they're worried about, what they're doubting and what they desire <laughs> and what their bodies feel like and you know like all this stuff it's actually what you're picking up from the people around you and, and like you touched on Kendra like sometimes we get so bogged down with everyone else's stuff especially if the people around you you know particularly the people that you care so deeply about you know are struggling or going through some interesting things you know as someone who cares and adores them, you will take on some of the burden in their life. And it's very easy to get lost in what you would like and what you're creating, you know? And so by simply acknowledging, acknowledging is the big thing that 98% of your thoughts, feelings, and emotions and, and likely physical pain doesn't actually belong to you, that it's your awareness. You can look at that energy and go, wow, like belong to And take a really nice, beautiful, exciting, deep breath and just say, return to sender with consciousness attached. And what you've (laughs) so beautifully reminded me of, girl, is like, when you carry other people's stuff, like, it doesn't actually make the load lighter for them. If anything, it makes it heavier because then they have to deal with their own crap and yours. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, you think that you help people by, like, trying to take on their stuff and all you have to do is be aware of it. It doesn't require, it doesn't require you to do anything. Your awareness doesn't require you to do anything, you know? Yeah. And that's something I, that's something that I brought Andrea's attention back to um, was that she was taking on a lot of stuff from a lot of people. And I said to her, but Andrea, when you take on that stuff from those people, it continually heals that energy of them 
making them not have to look at their own stuff. So yeah. as she's as she's spooning the stuff out of their cup, they're pouring more in and it never overflows into their life. So they have to stop and yeah. look at why their cup's overflowing. So they yeah. get stuck and they don't get out of it, out of out of that place in their life. So that's right. That, and oftentimes the, the crazy thing about this world and this reality is lots of times people don't make a choice until it's totally unbearable for them. Right. Exactly. You know, they wait until something is so painful that they have to make a different choice. And if you're always trying to kind of like make things easier and make things better for them when you really can't anyway, because it has nothing to do with you, you know, it, it just prolongs that healing and that choice for others. So, Adria, there's a question here. Um, um, so, Sprinkles, our lovely producer, posted, is there a means to have a control on how much one opens up? Okay, so oh, this is a really interesting question. And actually, I mean, hold on, people want to show here. I think that Kendra and I could debate this all night. Because, <laughs> no, seriously, and like, and no one's right or wrong. It's just about choice. And it's just about what works for you. Like, I have the point of view that you don't want to control it, you actually want to open up to it more and receive it more. Because the more you can receive it, right, then you're not putting up those barriers to all the other cool stuff you can receive. Because how can like, how do you filter out? I don't want the bad stuff. I only want the good stuff. But you sometimes you don't know, the good stuff can be disguised as bad stuff and vice versa. Sometimes something looks really good and it doesn't turn out to be good. Like, so my point of view is actually, if you could drop those barriers, well, I'm getting really excited about this. I apologize. Um, if you could actually drop those barriers and allow yourself to receive all of it, like receive the good, the bad, the ugly, you don't want to control it. You want to say, okay, holy cow, there's a lot of stuff going on here. And just, just witness it. Like, just be aware of it. It doesn't mean you have to take it on. It doesn't mean you have to carry it around. Just that you allow yourself to receive all of it and receive everything, you know? Whereas, Kendra, I think you yes. have a bit of a different point of view in, no, in a I, sense. Okay. Um, yes. Okay. In, a, in, in, a, in a sense, in a sense, I do. But, but I agree with you, though, because we come back to the tool of be the rock and stream. Yeah, right exactly yes and that is a huge tool which we'll talk about after this um I'll let Andrea explain that to you just because it's something that I use often but I'm I'm gonna tell you where I have to put some control in as someone yeah. who works in the medical field and is so extremely aware and so medically aware I have to turn those parts off of me because my body will be in physical pain like I just can't I can't I'm aware of all the pain and it hurts me. So there are times where you have to take care of yourself. But in other situations in life, you as open as you can allow yourself to be just pushing yourself just outside that comfort zone of openness so that you're allowing yourself to receive more from the universe um, because you want to be as open as you can or you'll be missing possibilities that create so much joy. Yeah, that's right. Like so, you can't, it's like throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Like you guys have ever heard that ridiculous saying, but it's like when you shut down your receiving, you shut out everything. It's not like you just shut out the stuff you don't feel like, or you don't want or can't handle anymore. You shut it all out. You shut out receiving how beautiful the sunrise is. You shut out receiving when someone looks you in the eyes and tells you that they love you. And like you shut off receiving money like potential customers potential clients potential promotions you shut out receiving you know maybe new a new lover in your life that excites you and like lights up your world you know you actually create such a barrier to what it is you'd like when you know when you decide that you need to control or handle what what feels like too much because I've never heard that. Man, I'm like full of sayings tonight. When do I ever make sayings? That's so funny. All the like, time. Um, do I? Yeah. Oh, I did not realize I, just, I was a sayings person. I but just I have brought another saying. Awareness. Go ahead. Go for it. <laughs> 
Oh shit, I forgot it. No, I don't forget it. It's just like gotta come back to me. Um, there is another saying. Oh my gosh, it was a really clever one too. Well, you are throwing the baby out with the bathwater and yeah. telling telling people that you need to receive it all, like not shut down and receive everything that they, you know, the good's got to come with the bad. Yeah. So hundred percent. It'll come okay, to well, me. Okay. Well, when it comes, why don't you, t- why don't you talk to them about the rock and the stream, Andrea, so that they can get a sense for how that works. Okay. So I um, have two different analogies on this. Cause apparently I have a ton of sayings and I'm very visual apparently. <laughs> so, you have the rock in the stream, which is when you, like, I don't even know if I can explain it any better than that. Like, get the visual of it, you know? If you can actually be the rock in the stream and just allow, like, just allow everything to sort of rinse past you, you know? It's like the the rock doesn't actually absorb any of the water, you know? It just allows it through and allows it past and, um, and, you, and of course the rock is aware of the water, but doesn't allow the water to carry it away. You know, um, that's probably the best way I could describe it. I think you guys got that. And then my second sort of visual on that is like also to do with water, which is so funny. Um, but it's like, okay, so we talk about this other thing that helps when things get really, really intense, which is like expanding out. Do we want to go into this tool, Kendra? I mean, I kind yeah, of already cool. have. Well, I, I, and I've talked about it before, but they, okay, they should hear it again because it's good reiteration. It is totally. So there's lots of times when we feel like we just can't handle it anymore. Like we're at our max and we need to put walls up or, or barriers or start to control how we're feeling, right? Well, an option that you have and another, another one of my favorite tools is about expanding out. And so the, here's the visual on this. So, If you're, like, the size of a puddle and someone, like, throws a rock in it, you would, like, splash everywhere. Like, you as the puddle. Like, that's the metaphor if you're a puddle, okay? (laughs) You'd, like, splash everywhere. And it would totally disrupt you. And you would be, like, a wreck. And you'd be all over the place, right? But if you're the size of the ocean and someone throws the same size, like, pebble in... You don't allow it to actually shake your entire world. Like, you, you'll you be aware of it. It might sort of, like, be a sensation. It might kind of tickle or, or, you know, something of that sort. But it doesn't, like, shake your entire universe and mess up your whole day. And so how you expand out, I mean, really simply is just kind of feel your feet on the ground. Feel your butt in the chair. Take a really really deep breath and this actually might take us right till break we're probably coming up right on that halfway mark you know take a really really deep breath maybe you guys want to walk through this with me and just allow your energy to like fill the entire room that you're in yeah and then just allow your energy to fill your entire house And then just allow your energy to fill, you know, the street that you live on, like kind of like a one block radius. And then now just allow it to go like to your neighborhood and and don't think about it. Just kind of be with it. And now your city or your town or, you know, your village. And then, of course, (laughs) yeah, like that. Then like your province or your state or, you know, wherever you are in the world. And then allow it to expand out to your country, through the oceans, through all the land, through the rock, through the people, just as far down as you are wide and just as far high as you are wide. And then just take another deep breath, kind of get out of your head and take another deep breath and allow yourself to Fill your energy with the entire globe. And even a little bit further. And then allow yourself to go a little bit further. And then allow yourself to go even further. And just let yourself continue to fill this space. Like expand your energy into that space. 
And then just when you think you've gone like pretty much as far as you can go, just take a really deep breath and go 10 times further. And sometimes when the like when life gets overwhelming, when it starts to feel like too much, that's such a great exercise to allow your energy, you know, to expand out. So you become that size, you know, the size of of the ocean in comparison to the pebble, right? Ooh, kind of gives me tingles. Do you like that one, Kendra? Is that one you do often? I do. I love it. It's it's my sanity thing. Okay. <laughs> it is. So I hope that relaxed everyone. We're going to go off to break now and we get back. We're going to have some more entertainment and some fabulous information for you guys. And we will catch you shortly. Welcome back, everyone. This is Kendra from Surprise Your Spirit. And for anyone who may just be tuning in now, 
I have special guest, lifestyle extraordinaire, Andrew Zowski here with us, entertaining the folks with our brutal honesty. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome, Andrea. Welcome back. So funny. Entertaining the folks. Well, hello, folks. That's right. The folks. Um, (laughs) For anyone who's just tuning in, we're just sharing tips and tricks. Um, We've shared a little bit about how Andrea and I know about our know know each other how our relationship came to be um it has turned into a friendship that seems to never go away um which is okay some of those sometimes and uh, <laughs> on, on break our producer sprinkles just had to inform us that we sound like we're twins so obviously our energy is vibrating the same we're really into the flow um of life with each other's energy so oh. um so Let's, let's, what, what do you want to talk about, Andrea? What, what do you have to offer the guests that maybe, maybe they may borderline, you know, maybe afraid to hear or know, but, um, but need to know, you know, it's that, that tight, tight line. I know when I work with clients and with you, when you worked with me, um, all those years ago, you know, sometimes you have to push someone out of their comfort zone. So what can we talk about that will make people a little uncomfortable, but it might help them to hear, to hear it. Wow. Um, wow. There's just so many places we can go with this. It's so interesting. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity and the possibilities that we have here. So I wonder like, um, you know, where, where I'm like really drawn to talk about this very second is like, you know, what's the weirdest thing ever. Okay. You know what? People wanted a show like this is like the weirdest thing ever. You know how you know so much and you have so much information and you're so aware mm-hmm. yet you have no fucking clue. Yep. Oh. I. I know exactly what you're talking about. Like, oh, like, I actually just kind of rattles me. Like, it drives me kind of crazy because people, I think, have this misconception. Okay, let's talk about the misconceptions. People have this idea that if they're psychic or if they have awareness or if we're psychic or if we have awareness, that somehow we know everything. And the weird thing is energetically we kind of do like we know a lot when you read the energies of it because you can perceive things and things will feel heavy or they'll feel light or they'll feel like nervous or exciting or you'll have these thoughts or ideas or whatever but yet you'll have no idea what's going on like you'll get clues but you really don't have any clue if that makes sense and so like you know um, It's so, it's interesting. So when you're going through your life, like, okay, so first off, if you're listening to this show, either live or recorded, like, hi, (laughs) um, I want to let you know something. You're very psychic and you're very aware (laughs) simply because you you found this show. And like, if you've made it halfway now, trust me, you're far more aware than you think you are. Because anyone who this didn't resonate with, Number one, probably wouldn't have found it. And number two, definitely didn't listen past five minutes. So, hey. So the funny thing is, like, don't don't start to discount your awareness because you don't have it all figured out, I guess is what I'd like to say. That's right. You know, you know what I mean? Good gosh. How many times have I called you to talk about things and be like, I'm so aware of this, but it's not happening. And you're just like, yeah, well, because it's still in creation mode, you know, it's going to happen. Like, I mean, even though I'm intuitive and, and tiny, tiny is tough guys, the universe doesn't bring things to you until you're ready for them. Or maybe that thing isn't ready for you. Sometimes it's not yeah. about you that that thing may not most be times, most times it's not about you. Yes. Like I would you know, say 99.999% of the time it has nothing to do with you and it's rearranging everything to make all the pieces fit together. And the thing but, is we live yeah. in a society of 
of instant gratification, right? We want what we want and we want it now. And if it's not happening now, it's never happening. But that's the wrong attitude because then guess what? The universe stops rearranging things because you just told the universe you don't want it anymore because you don't have it now. So then it puts in delays. Yeah. So, you know, that those are those sorts of things. Now, here's something else I I really want to talk about, Andrea, because I don't we've we've talked about this, you and I before. And you're thinking, oh, my God, she's going to throw me under the bus here. No, and I'm, I'm saying, well, yeah, pretty close. <laughs> pretty damn close. I'm, um, okay, so, you know, Andrea, Andrea reads energy differently than I do. Okay, yeah. so she doesn't use it in the way that I do. She, she has awareness. Um. Do you do you want to do you want to explain to people how your awareness works? Because I mean, obviously, people know how minds work. Like I know things. I I connect directly to people's thoughts and feelings, and I just tell them to them, and then it freaks them out, and they just don't ever talk to me again. But <laughs> yeah, so true. Honestly, like yeah, <laughs> so true. So so tell people how you work. Like how does your awareness work and your interpretation of energy? So okay, so. This is kind of, and, and here's the thing is I'm still discovering it. Like it's all, it's different. It's like subtly different every day and it changes and grows and, and it morphs and it like, you know, all the time. But the most, I would say the most basic way that I, oh man, I don't even know if I can categorize it. Okay. You might have to help me with this, honestly, okay. because okay. I think, I think one of my, like, I think I'm more, oh God, I think I'm more present in my awareness in the sense that I'm don't, I am do don't think about it, but if someone lies to my face, I'm like, er, no, like, I know that I, that's not it. You know what I mean? Right. And, I, know, and then, I know exactly what you mean, but I, because, but I think you practice that, right? Cause I try to teach that to clients too. The the best way to live your life is being present in the moment, not seeking the energies from the future. So if yeah. you can keep your awareness till now, it doesn't <laughs> affect, it doesn't affect you as deeply. <clears throat> oh my gosh! Yes. So here's an example that's coming to mind. Okay, like I just got home. How long have we been on this show? Thirty five minutes. I've been yeah. I've been home for thirty six minutes, and I um was on a road trip with my boyfriend Tanner and his business, and we were having this chat on the way home. That like it was interesting because he was talking about something, and and I was just like, whoa, like no, no, sorry, like you're so full of shit right now, like you're lying to yourself. It's not like that, like you have to look at this dude. Like, it's not like that, you know? And he's like, well, what is it like? And all of a sudden I knew, like I had this whole different awareness and he's like, Oh shit. He's like, Oh crap. Like, you know what I mean? But it's not like I, I, it's not like I, I think about it constantly. It's just when someone asks a question or when that energy is presented, it's like, I can kind of grab it. I don't like what else? No. Um, okay. But you see your, your, your awareness comes into now energy, right? My awareness comes into past, present, future. Okay. So that's, that's, just yes. where, that's where our abilities are different and that's okay because totally. there, there's power in that. And I mean, that's why you make, you make a good coach because, yeah. because you're aware that if we don't deal with this crap now, future don't matter because you're going to be stuck here for the next 10 years. If we don't figure out and release this energy now. That is so cool. Yes, totally. And thanks for like putting that so eloquently. Like I have, I have a now awareness where it's like, I can just go like doodle through my life. And then I'm like, I'm like bang aware of something, change this, choose this, call this person, like, (laughs) you know, whatever. Yeah. Whereas you, for, where so I don't tend, I don't tend to find it too overwhelming. You know what I mean? Like, like I'm grateful I have tools because it does get overwhelming at times. But like generally speaking, I wouldn't say I have like, like anxiety attacks or anything like that. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. And, and whereas, whereas if I don't take care of my energetic space, I will suffer from anxiety attacks because I'm not just aware of my, my own future awareness. I'm aware of everybody else's yeah. and, and their past as to what's brought them here. So yeah. it's a lot of information overload if I'm not continually cleansing my systems. Yeah, totally. And and that's actually really great for any listeners. It's like, if you're someone who tends to, who tends to struggle with, you know, anxiety or overwhelm or like, you know, anything like that, I would strongly encourage you, number one, to reach out to Kendra and, and play with her and create with her. I know she's got some phenomenal specials right now on readings, but just shameless plug there. But the biggest thing is really to look at where you're, where you're aware and what you're really aware of, because like, that's just another sign that your awareness gives you. Yeah. And your brain kicks in and it, and it always kicks into um, taking you to a place where you don't want to go. And it's, and it's always the farthest thing from the truth. So always, you know, um, seeking out a competent source to help you on your journey whatever that may be to you is super important to creating the life that you desire. So, you know, Andrea, I, I just want the, I want the listeners to get to know me a little more. Um, so they don't have this mystified idea about me because some of the messages I get and I'm just like, that, that's great. Like, that's great that I'm helping you and whatever, but I live in this reality too. Like, I, I struggle too, um, but these I want to share my knowledge with people and help them with my abilities to move along the way. But I also am human too. So, you know, Adra, do you remember when we started working together? What was what would you say was my biggest struggle? I mean, I know what it was, but do you do you recall what that was? Um. I mean, there's something specific coming to mind. I don't know if it's the same thing you're thinking of, but well, go for it. but when when we first started, like, oh my god, when when we really first started working together, like, you had a lot of um, foster kids, and you cared so, you just cared so deeply for everyone. You were always taking care of your mom. You're always taking care of your dad. You had you know, multiple foster kids, you opened up your home, you know, to really help raise these kids who, you know, didn't come from great family backgrounds. And you just, you were dead last on your priority list, you know, and it was always about other people and helping other people and making sure other people were okay and cared for. And, and I think that kind of came to a head when like the self care and really looking at what you wanted, like, what do you want? What do you want your life to be? You know, that really wasn't even part of the equation. And like, it just felt like you left you out of your life. Yes, I I would agree that that's very true. And I would agree that, you know, as being an empath, um, it it took an emotional toll on me. Mm -hmm. Um. So that was my biggest struggle. So for anyone who really struggles with emotion. Wait a minute. Did I get it? Was that it? Yeah, it, it was putting myself last all the time. But then the spinoff of that was the emotional imbalance okay. that I, yeah. I couldn't seem to get a handle on where not realizing that I was actually taking on a the emotions of all the other people that I was caring for and they didn't even belong to me. Yeah. You know, like I was, I knew, I knew they weren't mine, but I didn't realize how deeply it was affecting me. And so, you know, like Andrea said in the beginning of the show, the the reason it it brought her to, you know, self-exploration and self-improvement and self-development and, and into that type of world was because her father um, committed suicide when she was younger and with me experiencing you know the past 10 years or so with my father suffering from suicidal ideation and you know very very severe depression we had such a common common link as yeah. to also being the oldest of three yeah. girls yeah um 
you know, dealing with mothers who are very strong and independent. Um, So not just our outside worlds collide, but this journey to self-development, but also learning how we operate differently, but could help each other because we we could come away from uh, come at things from a different perspective. Yeah. To bring the other's one outside of their box so they could get through their own crap. That's exactly it. And I think, you know, one of the really neat things that it led both of us to is, like, this this really intense desire to, like, show people or help people discover their abilities and what their great at and what's true for them like we've been talking about but that's really what it led to because I mean like as kind of depressing as those stories sound they're like the most beautiful exciting stories because they've allowed us to become people that can actually change like can I don't even know how to word it it's like it's allowed us to become people that can actually facilitate change for people. You know, the word that comes to mind, Andrew, actually, when you were explaining that is shape shifting. Yeah. We're energetic shape shifters. We are. And, and like, and it's just possible. Like, that's all I want to tell people. Like, you know, I love having these conversations with you. And, and if I could say anything to the listeners, it's like, like that shape shifting is possible. Like you might feel totally hopeless I guarantee you it's not as messed up as you think it is. Like, cause when you're in it, of course it feels over your head. Of course it feels overwhelming. Of course it feels like impossible. Right. But like, it's like, it's not, it's not as crazy as you think. And I, and I don't mean that to downplay it. I mean that, that it is changeable. Like that's really the point here. Like it is changeable. And sometimes, you know, finding someone who can facilitate you and ask you some questions just ask you some questions about it to start to untangle the lies that we tell you, ourselves. Yes. You know, the next big thing for me with all of that too is um, self-development starts with one thing, guys. It's asking for help. Yeah. Not being too proud to realize you want to develop yourself and you need some guidance on how to do it. Reach yeah. out. There are Reach people out. there. 100%. There are 100%. people there. And, you know, take a look at the people you're surrounding your with, su- surrounding yourself with, you know, the top, the top five people that you spend the most time with is, is the reflection of you. So really look at those people. And is that who you want to be? Okay. So, you know, one of my favorite quotes is, Go for it's it. It's like, if you think that you're depressed, just ask yourself if you're surrounded by assholes. And yeah. that's one of my most favorite things. And I have, like, I need that tattooed on my forehead because we're so aware of what's going on with the people around us. Like, we are so, so aware. And if you find yourself feeling weird, feeling wonky, feeling off, feeling depressed, feeling angry, feeling whatever... Like, look at the people around you. Like, it's just like you said, Kendra, you're probably this weird mix of the closest five. And, you know, and I'm sure they all have great, you know, um, positive traits. But, you know, it's not about positive or negative. It's all of it. The good, bad and the ugly. Right. So if you think you're depressed, try asking who does this belong to? Like, you might actually just be surrounded by assholes. (laughs) And then. (laughs) And then. And then return it to sender. Send it back. That's right. It's like, oh, my God, like, these people are, like, nuts. That's so funny. You guys can have it back. (laughs) You know, I, 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 you know, okay, so, Andrea, um, I I don't want to toot my own horn, but you know all the things I've been through in the last year and a half, like, seven moves, 16 million job changes, New, I new think, people. I think. New, did you say there was sixteen million job changes? That yes, I think like, it may be an underestimation too. But. I thought I counted at least twenty-one. So okay, yeah, <laughs> twenty-one million. Okay, yeah. And um, you know, my my support, my support in me, um, has 
the people I've surrounded myself with has changed immensely. And just so that people can understand what, what me braving all of that has done, explain to them from your perspective where I am now from where I was five years ago or six years ago when we started working together. Oh my God. Like, I don't even know how to do that nicely. Like, um, (laughs) I like I love you. I adore you. You know I do. But like the change in you is crazy. Like you I wouldn't rec- if I hadn't have kept in touch with you, I wouldn't have recognized you on the street. Like the just the the capacities you've stepped into and the capacities you've chosen chosen just continue to blow my mind and um and you're using the tools, which is what it just comes down to. You just like you can have all these tools. You can have all this information, you can have all this knowledge. And it's like, if you just use it, take time for yourself, allow the self care to become a priority, you know, start returning all of the heaviness to sender because what's true is what's you. <laughs> what's light is what's you, right? So any but, heaviness yeah. in your world is a lie. <laughs> but I want, I want the, you know, the um, listeners to know It took me five years, five years of hard, hard truth to get there. And trust me, there was crying, there was sobbing, there was torrential meltdown. So like, go ahead. Totally. So uh, we we were like, we only have a couple of minutes. So I, this is a question I have to ask you about that. So like, like you're right it's taken you you know five years and and the beautiful thing is like it, it'll it always evolve and change and they'll you know it'll be yeah. more and whatever like I've been on this journey for what's well, going to be 11 at the end of the month and yeah. and it, I'm like still having these aha moments like oh my god I had this aha moment like probably close to a month ago that's still unraveling like I was like laying on the couch like just in awe staring at the ceiling like holy crap how did I not see this like like these moments still happen and it's so exciting I love it so much but my question is like so okay so it's taking you five years so would you say it's worth it like what would you say to that person who's like maybe just starting out and it's kind of uncomfortable and it's kind of scary like what do you want to tell that person what could you tell that person I could tell that person that the ease that's on the other side is so great that it's worth yeah. every minute of the journey, every single minute. Yeah. And so true. And, and just know, just know that you're worth it. You're worth the fight. Mm. The universe has your back. You know, there are people here, reach out, um, do all those things. This, you know, this is a one year, guys. This is the time to make things happen. Step up and step into who you truly are. Oh my God. I love that. Like, the, it's true. Like, the universe has your back. And there's a lot, like, this is, yeah, it's you. It's your life. Like, like I said right at the beginning, this isn't a dress rehearsal. This isn't, you know, uh, um, a practice round. Like, Like, this is it. Like, this is the only time you're going to be here at this time in this body. Like, how could you possibly make the best of it, you know? And what could you become aware of and what could you become present to that if you could become present to it or aware of it would would allow you to create what you'd like to create? Yeah. And and I, I just want that for everyone. And so we're and you really do like yeah I couldn't I do the care like genuinely that person (laughs) you really are like I'm I am one of those people who take advantage of every freaking reading you offer like you're like oh I have these new readings oh great time me up I have these new video readings awesome like (laughs) sign me up you know and it's like every reading you do like is just from this place of like, how, hi, like, hi, how can I contribute? What, you know, what do you need to hear? And you just deliver it so beautifully. So thank you for everything you do. It's amazing. I'm so pumped. (laughs) I'm so freaking pumped. 
thank you for everything you be. We are out of time, guys. And I want to thank Andrea for sharing her knowledge and her expertise and for spending her time with me tonight because I love being around her. And I want to thank all of you. And I want to thank OTCR um, for having me on their show and promoting me and promoting what I do. So check them out and check out their easing and everything else they have to offer. And you can find me at www.surpriseyourspirit.com. And we will see you guys next week for another wonderful show. Take care and have a great evening.